Hello everyone and welcome back to Good DIY Plans. Today we're diving into a fun DIY project, building a robust garden enclosure that not only enhances the aesthetics of your garden, but also protects your plants and supports essential pollinators. This enclosure measures nine and a half feet deep, 11 feet long, and nine and a half feet high, featuring ergonomic planters that are going to be easy on your back. And after spending many hours reading through blogs and doing research, it seems like the primary concern that people have about this structure is the accessibility for pollinators, the cost of materials, and how to make the structure. Well, I've got you covered. I'm using a pollinator-friendly mesh that keeps pests out while welcoming beneficial insects. I know budgeting is crucial, and I've designed this to be cost-effective, with a total estimated cost around $1,500. Ready to get started? Okay, let's start building our garden enclosure by preparing the base structure. We'll begin with the planter box vertical supports using 2x6 lumber pieces cut to 28 inches. You'll need 10 L-shaped combination of blue and green pieces and 6 standalone yellow pieces. They are color-coded for clarity here. Join the blue and green pieces using 3.5 inch screws. The yellow pieces will be used standalone. Next, we'll construct the frame of the planter box. This requires 12 pieces of 2x12 lumber, which we'll secure together with 3.5 inch screws. The 2x6 lumber vertical support, consisting of the green, blue, yellow pieces you've assembled, will be added here. Secure these with 2.5 inch screws. Alright, now to increase the height of our garden bed, we'll stack two additional layers, one consisting of 2x12 lumber, which is going to be identical to the first layer, and the other of 2x6 lumber. Each layer is secured to the vertical support with two and a half inch screws, ensuring durability and also providing sufficient depth for plant growth. We'll then add a lip around the garden bed using two by four lumber pieces. Each component is cut at a 45 degree angle for a clean finish. Secure these pieces with three and a half inch screws. Okay, now let's focus on the frames for the mesh inserts. Construct 35 frames using 2x4 lumber. They are color coded in pink in this diagram. These will form the main structure components for our enclosure, securing the mesh that protects your plants. Each frame will house a mesh insert made from 2x2 lumber and covered with 19 gauge galvanized steel hardware cloth, measuring 51 by 24 inches. Secure the mesh with staples, ensuring it's taut across the frame for optimal protection. We will also need a few square frames for varying sections of the enclosure. These are made from 2x4 lumber, 24 inches and 27 inches in length, forming a square. Construct 5 of these and secure them with 3.5 inch screws. For the square insert, use 2x2 lumber to create a frame matching the mesh dimensions of 24 by 24 inches. Staple the mesh onto the frame and cover it with another frame to secure it in place. It's time to start building up. On top of your planter box, add eight of the pink color-coded 2x4 frames, connecting them with screws and wood glue for extra strength. Insert the mesh panels into these frames, securing them with 2.5-inch screws and wood glue. Continue by building up by adding another layer of frames and inserts. Do this for a total of three layers, adding frames and inserts as you go. Add two 4x4 posts measuring 110.5 inches tall, at strategic points to support the weight of the roof. These are crucial for the structural integrity of your enclosure and are secured using larger screws. Okay, now let's finish the roof. Begin by positioning two 135 inch long 4x4 lumber beams horizontally across the top of the structure. These beams will provide the necessary support for the roof panels. They should also align with the edges of the enclosure for structural integrity. Secure these beams to the frame using long screws. With the beam secured, proceed by installing the pink color-coded rectangular frame pieces that will form the roof. Attach each frame to the horizontal beam and to each other using wood glue and screws for additional stability. Check alignment with each addition to ensure that the structure is leveled and consistent. This is crucial for preventing any future sagging or misalignment of the roof. Next, we'll construct the door. Start by assembling a frame using one square pink color-coded frame at the top and one rectangular pink color-coded frame below it. Connect these frames together using two and a half inch screws, ensure they are tightly bound together, and add one more 27 inch long two x four at the top. Place the mesh inserts within these frames as before. To install the door, you may need to plane off a small section of the door to ensure it doesn't catch when it opens and closes. 
Install the door by attaching three durable hinges along the vertical edge, spacing them out for balance support. Attach a handle at a convenient height on the door and on the opposite side, install a locking latch to keep your garden secure. And that's it, your garden enclosure is now ready to protect your plants and welcome pollinators. For those interested, I have a detailed DIY plan available with diagrams, step-by-step -step instructions, and a complete list of materials and tools. It's designed to help you through every step of your build. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, subscribe for more DIY projects. Check out the plan for a more guided experience and happy building. See you next time.